When a severe storm hits, hail and high-speed winds can cause excessive damage to your home. This can lead to blown-off shingles, broken windows, siding damage, and leaking inside. If you suspect your home has been hit with storm damage, contact CNN Construction today. We are a proud GAF Master Elite contractor, offering free exterior home inspection for storm-related damages. CNN is a reputable licensed roofing and general contractor working hand-in-hand with insurance companies and homeowners every step of the way through the difficult claims and restoration process. We will meet with your insurance adjuster to discuss the damages to your property, the value of those repairs, and the scope of work needed at your home. Our skilled team has you covered and will leave your home looking brand new. Give us a call today at 844-415-ROOF or visit our website at cnroofs.com for a free exterior inspection. CNN Construction. We find the solutions, not the excuses. Hang on a second, guys. One, 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 one second. What up? We've got to give a shout out to South Nashville Heating and Cooking. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Friend and supporter of Show and Proof. Also, the longest running sponsor of I Got Some Shit to Say the podcast. Absolutely. Look, man, South Nashville Heating and Cooling, where quality and craftsmanship come together. They've been doing this since 1985. That's almost 40 years of service. Expert designs, quality installations, superior service. Absolutely. And let me tell you something. What's that? Tell me. I feel confident in the fact that South Nashville Heating and Cooling will keep me warm in the winter. For sure. I'm It'll sure. keep me cool in the summer. Absolutely. Big Matter of fact, these middle months, you'll yeah. be comfortable even then. Absolutely, Absolutely, dude. Y'all know the deal, man. South Nashville Heating and Cooling, we love those guys. Y'all see the name, y'all see the number, tap in. Feliz cumpleamos. <laughs> Always. Stop! Stop! Uh, it's I got some shit to say to podcast man we're back like we don't stop because trust us we never do all we do is work y'all know me fuck you squints that's right R.I.P. <laughs> Wizzle fizzle forever and always with me as usual back in the corner me bodyguard chatorbstv.com Stomp. that guy my other bodyguard down on the end the one the only Mildred that guy where the Mildred's at where yeah. they at man they heal man they heal man are they I got a story about the Mildred's oh too, shit man. hold it hold oh, it hold it, it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey man shout out to this guest right here guys let me just tell y'all this guy is sitting in this chair right now because I'm a fucking fan. The first glimpse I saw of this kid doing his thing, I said he had to be a part of this. We had to get him over here so we could fucking introduce him to you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Whipple. What's up, y'all? Glad to be here. What's up? What's up? Man? Hey, glad you're here. Youngster yeah, in the yeah. building, man. Yeah, man. Definitely that. I've been literally excited for this episode, kid. You have no idea. Yeah. Uh, Jake Whipple, uh, Born and raised where? Here? Tuscaloosa. Oh, okay. Alabama. We won't hold yeah. that against you. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. No, uh, no, I wish you would have said that when Amy was out here. Yeah, She's I'm, from Alabama. I'm a Bama boy. I'm Bama got boy. you. Got yeah. you. How long uh, is you been here in Nashville? Uh, since, so like last year, but like 2021. So when I graduated high school, because I came up here for college, Belmont University. This is all starting yeah, to make yeah, sense yeah. as to why this kid didn't hit my radar until as of recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I just started performing as of uh, this year because... Last year, my first year at Belmont, I got accepted into the showcase like in the last like semester. Mm-hmm. So it was like right when school was ending. And that was like crazy because it was like an opportunity to like get my name out there. And so I did that. And because of it, I got a band together. And this year, we just started performing and stuff. Okay. Yes, okay. So like so, we started really getting. I love there. this. So get yeah. this. When we when we brought it on, like when we started, we have yet to really say what he does. And now he's starting, like now they're starting to figure it out. But yeah. let me just show this clip right here. Boom. <laughs> So cold, but this night's been on my mind for so long. I've been fighting so long, I've been sliding so long. Keep on waiting for you. I want your body, yes I do. 
That's the, what I saw on Instagram, though, that I was like, holy shit, who is this kid? Mm -hmm. Because, bro, uh, A, you were at, I, uh, amongst your timeline in that same scenario, I saw that you had most recently performed at Vibrations. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, shout out Six Square. All those shout guys, uh, mm -hmm. episode 200 coming mm -hmm. soon. Stay tuned. Details coming. Uh, but. In association with that, I saw your performance, like a performance slot of you there. And I saw like the way, the, the vibes this kid was putting out. You know what I mean? Like right. this is grown folks music, bro. Uh -huh. This, this yeah. dude's doing it different. And uh, I love that shit. And at heart, Thanks, I've man. always been R&B. Like in my family could tell, like Amy especially could tell you, like I'll be out here in the, in the garage singing nine times out of 10, yeah. listening to their shit the rest of the time. But uh, it's just, it's something I've always been like really, really into interested in mm -hmm. you know people that gotcha. have because it takes someone from an artist perspective to step on that stage mm -hmm. and do that shit. oh yeah you oh, know yeah. what i mean for, mm -hmm. for sure you gotta have a, you, know, you gotta have a confidence you gotta have yes. a voice you know what yes. I'm saying? And you gotta bring it you have yeah. to it has to be a total deal though for <laughs> yeah. it to work continuously right. you know yeah. what i'm saying because like sooner or later motherfuckers will be like bro you gotta stop doing that mm -hmm. or you're gonna have to change something like nobody like just I'm, I, it makes more sense to me now that you say you came up in Alabama. Right. Well, what, what it is is, like, I never really wanted to stick to a certain genre and what had happened. Because I just love music. Like, mm. really? Um, now, I'm, now, that being said, though, I just, like, I loved Bruno Mars growing up. Oh, like, he okay. was, like, my favorite oh, no. of, like, all time. And no. he still is. Okay. And then, Bruno's like, dope. Yeah, right? No, and sure. I, That's and a good I, one. And Michael yeah. Jackson, like, bro, like. MJ. It's, it's just, like, and Prince. Like, they're all just, Try like, print. bro, like. Come on. And so, like, that type of shit just, like, really stuck with me. And then I was like, all right. And so, when I got up here, I wanted to really dive into, like, what chords they were using and shit. And then okay. I was like, oh, shit. So, like, the seven chords. And I was like, damn. Yeah. And so, then I was like, all right, that that's what I like. And then I just started just riffing over it because, I mean, I, I just love to riff. And I've been singing my whole life. So, I mm. just, I, you know, I just hum some shit and we just go. But yeah. I, that's just what I like to make. Just so, don't yeah. just don't wear the Prince pants, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, huh, just, nah, just, nah, nah, don't nah, do nah, that. Stick to your you swag. Know. Don't, wear, nah. don't wear the yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Hey, the kid's swagged out, bro. Man. Yeah. He be rocking these velvet I just try to stay in my own lane. You know? I, I, feel trying you. To, yeah. I feel you. It's a good look, though, bro. And, <laughs> and fun fact, I'm going to put it out there, Jake. The kid is 20 fucking years old. <laughs> yeah. Right? And yeah. that is that is a different part of the discussion because I had to ask him almost immediately through the door. And in reality, none of us has met Jake until today. Mm. And uh, like I said, I've been super stoked ever since we locked in that he was pulling up today just for the fact that I, I just I love what you're doing. But uh, I asked him almost immediately through the door, within the first 90 seconds he was here, how old he was. And I didn't think you were going to say 20, bro. I, I really, I, not that I thought you were like much older than that. I knew you were young. Right, but right. just uh, to hear that you're only 20 years old. And like one said, mm -hmm. you know, when we start talking about it takes different type of individuals, mm -hmm. you know, to uh, A, harness that type of ability and, and portray it to the world mm -hmm. with such confidence, bro. Mm -hmm. Like when you... Right. When you're doing what you're doing, Jake, that shit is like, a, like you said, you, you've probably been doing it your whole life. Like you've loved music right, for, yeah. for so long. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we don't, I think it's dope though when I tapped in that I don't get, I had to like dig a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I can mm -hmm. see though where where you're saying there's some years attached to it. And, mm -hmm. and now that you've said some of the influences you've, you've witnessed through your life, it's starting to make more sense about right. what we're seeing now. You know what I mean? I mean, look, I, the the biggest influence is like what really got me here and everything is my parents because they okay. they are in a band together okay, okay. Yeah. and let me tell you y'all they're fucking fire like i ain't even all gonna right. lie and I'm, right. a, I'm a very critical listener all right all right uh, and look and like you know what i mean i bet uh, they love that too they're, I they're bet crazy they, love that. they they opened up for earth wind and fire oh yeah and oh, sugar no. ray not for like a tour oh, wow. but they opened up for him at the hometown and it was just That's fucking crazy and you know what yeah, i mean like wow. they're nice they're yeah, nice yeah. But, so so you so you yeah. can't 
came from this music. Right. And so like okay. I just always grew up and it's like it's not like they they pressured me into doing it. It was just like I just loved it, you know? Like I thought it was so cool that they were involved in it and they were good and mm. my mom was like a rock star with her voice and my dad can shred the hell out of the guitar. So it's like, damn. All right. That's and so up. I just picked That's up everything up. from them, you know, and just wow. with it. Yeah. You got brothers so, and sisters? I got one sister. She's 6 years younger. She's she's super talented too. She don't really want to do the music stuff though, but yeah. Yeah, she like does her own shit, but yeah, she's hey, fired that's up. that's dope, this man. Hell yeah, yeah, man. He's fired up. Yeah. Like, great family. <laughs> did you, you you see the way he even said? You know what I'm saying? Like mom, mom's a rock star. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I give his pants ups and shit, man. Like that's how dope. long was yeah. has that been a thing between your mom and how long have they been in a band together? <laughs> Dude, or like or longer, a group or whatever. Pro- I, I'm pretty sure longer than I've been like on. Wow. The, okay. Yeah. Like yeah. that's basically yeah. how you. Work. Yeah. And now yeah. like they work full time jobs outside of that, but like they, I mean they they probably could like do the band thing if they really wanted to, you know. But hmm. you know, yeah. I'm I'm going to Belmont and they got to get my sister through college, so they can't. They can't I get it. Uh, but. but they continuously create still yeah. like currently. Oh yeah, and they it, don't. They don't. They they are they're not original. I guess I should gotcha. put that out. They, they they do they do covers and stuff. Gotcha. And like, but like, dude, it is it's crazy. Like yeah. it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. So, <laughs> so I think that's dope as hell. Yeah, uh, it's, cool. it's wild. But like I said, as as all of, as we learn these things about Jake, because I mean, we sat with him maybe half hour or so before we started, and uh, I think it's dope to learn these things as we go though. Because yeah. uh, I mean, obviously, man, as talented as you are, it makes sense for. Everything you've mentioned thus far from the influences <laughs> to, uh, you know, being kind of born into it, bro, and mm-hmm. it just being a part of your life, your whole life. Uh, yeah. What was that like, man? Is this like it, it was always just them creating in the corner and you were just observing or uh, like yeah, uh, or everybody like everybody I just mean, sit around and do covers like, you know, it, it was like more so like they would just be practicing and then mm. I would just be like, all right, like this is this is dope. And then I like they just found out I could sing because yeah. I mean, I would just start singing by myself and shit. And like that was just how it was. And then uh like whenever they had a gig, like they would usually let me come up on the stage and like sing a song or something. Okay. And like I would just do that forever. And so then I so I started getting involved in theater and all that shit. Oh, so I hey, was, okay. I, I, yeah, that was stupid. All right. So so yeah. who's your, your favorite like all overall artist? Okay, Bruno Mars. Oh, sure. so, gotcha, so sure. Bruno, oh, oh, Bruno, okay, Bruno. okay, all right, Bruno. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Hey, that, that, that makes sense. Twenty, yeah. he, he's twenty. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just, I, I love his performance style, yeah. and I mean his music is great too. And it's just like I feel like, uh, I w- if I were to be anyone, I would really want to like try to lean more that direction. It, it, but I don't want to mm. be him, of course. But you know, like yeah. he's yeah. fucking crazy. So it's like but, I strive to be as talented as that man. So. Yeah, you, you definitely got some funk, man, and some soul Preach, to you, man. man. Definitely. Yeah, for sure, uh, for sure. I think it's, it's dope you mentioned theater. How how long was that a thing? Oh Lord, uh, forever till I was like eighteen, and then I like I finally was just like, all right, no, nah. because I, I mean I wanted to pursue music, and I knew that my entire life, but I was just like loving to do theater because it was a an opportunity to go out and like perform in front of people. Absolutely. And uh, what age yeah. you get into that? Kindergarten. Oh wow! Yeah, okay, yeah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I booked like my first lead role in like first grade, actually, which was wow. wild. And like that right there sprung like just a bunch more because all it takes is like one if you're in a smaller town like that. So like, gotcha. Yeah. And so like, I mean, it was just it was from the get go for real. Like, I just loved. Doing That's it. interesting. Like, it uh, was a lot of fun doing it. Like, yeah, I I I got involved with that through high school, but it was just because of a you know like a, a course credit. You know what I'm saying? It's fun though, mm-hmm. man. but I enjoyed the it's, shit yeah. out of it. Now, yeah. granted, I was much later in my years. This is literally through freshman through junior year of high school. Right. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's something that I always yeah keep with me. It's you know what I mean? It was a fun and I always mm-hmm. bet anybody comes out here talking some movie shit. I always beg for a role. I'm like infamous for that. <laughs> yeah. But that's why. Uh, yeah. But it's interesting to me that you say you wanted to get away from it suddenly. Uh, yeah, I do. I just, I just wasn't. I wasn't in love with it. Gotcha. Uh, I also, I never really. I mean, I never really was a fan of the music. Like, I would never just go in my car and be like, "Here, let me turn on like fucking anything," unless it was like Hamilton. Mm-hmm. Okay, because that one's like got some rap to it, and it's like kind of cool, and it's not like ooh, you yeah, know, like yeah. the whole goddamn time. Yeah, so, yeah. I, yeah. You know. so yeah, that, that's just how I feel about it. But like, I just really, I wanted to be like a performer on my like own terms, you know, like mm. music mm-hmm. and shit. So yeah, because I would write songs in my bedroom all the time. So right. like that, that was my real thing is just doing that. So yeah, what uh, so you you know, now we we figured that out about. Jake, you know, he dibble dabbled in theater for a number of years oh, of yeah. fucking life. Oh yeah, uh, but then now you're mentioning the sh- the songwriting and right. and like currently, you know, uh, you mentioned coming to Nashville to be a student and that kind of mm-hmm. thing. But uh, when did the songwriting? And I want to get to the college stuff, of, co- of course. But the the songwriting stuff. When did that become a thing for Jake? 
growing yeah, up. I mean, especially I, from the music house, you know what I mean, and all that. I think yeah. it's dope you, that he said. I wanted to say that I, I noticed you said you started participating in your parents creating mm-hmm. or doing covers and stuff. Right. I think yeah, that's yeah, cool, yeah. and I'm sure the influence was there as well. But uh, for that to make it start, but when did you start like shutting down lyrics? <laughs> you don't even bro? believe it, but dude, like. I did like when I was like five or six. Wow. I, I wasn't okay. writing them just down though. I, would, I wasn't even writing them down though. I was I, I had them like in mm. my head and I would just what I would do is I'd be in the back seat just making up songs and I had two songs specifically that like my family could probably still sing to this day, which I find mm. like so fucking funny. But like they're they're so corny. But it's just like it's just the fact that I was doing it, you know, and I and I got the chance to like perform them in front of people one time, like acapella and people went nuts because I'm five years old, so it was just funny as hell. But like yeah, I mean I'd been doing it since then but seriously that's, though that's dope that's yeah, dope and you probably you probably go viral today if you was if you was five years hey, old, maybe you know? yeah, 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 yeah. back like, then it wasn't like that nah yeah nah, mm-hmm. nah. but uh i i really didn't start getting into like really being like all right let me write a song with my guitar and stuff because mm-hmm. i didn't learn that to like sixth grade so that like sixth grade as soon as i learned guitar i was like all right bet and so i just started writing songs from there because i got the chords and shit so yeah so you can read music now I don't. I don't read music. I gotcha. don't even know shit really about theory. Talk I, your I, shit. I, I know it. it about like on guitar. Like I know guitar theory. Yeah. I know like some piano theory, like note theory, but I don't know like actual theory. So you know what I mean. I yeah. just go off my ear and I know like I like a seven chord, so I'm gonna play a seven chord because that mm. shit sounds butter every time to me. Mm. So I mean, you know what I mean. Talk like, your I'm shit. Sure. I get it. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a more valuable way of. Man, Which, yeah. You know what I mean? I I love hearing that part of it rather than just somebody. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's it's definitely important to know the theory. I will say because if I did know it, which I'm trying to learn more, I would be uh, a way more probably like creative with it because you can hear melodies that's like you never heard mm-hmm. before. You wouldn't yeah. thought to yeah. hear. That's Man, one. That's one thing I've always wanted to do. Absolutely, yeah. and if and granted if. Well, if I would have been blessed with more vocal capability, <laughs> yeah. that's something I definitely would have had to have tapped into. Man, I would have learned, I would have had to mm-hmm. fucking. I probably yeah. have thirty kids yeah. by now. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's, I told him that off camera. Like, so stay fun. away from that shit because all my kids came running out here at one time, and I just looked at Jake and I was like, "Hey, bro, this right here." <laughs> man, stay away from all this, man. bro, because that's yeah. where it all wait, stops. Wait on bro. it. Wait on it. I wait know, on it. Dude. I'm yeah. I'm waiting. Believe. Yeah, got to, bro. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I think I think that's so you know this this is all like I, I'm really interested in all of it, man. Just because of of what you're portraying and what you're doing on this music shit right now, dog. And, right. and I love to hear uh, someone of your age just being such a I don't know, man. You're a beast of an artist, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you. And to only be twenty, it's just like yeah. Jesus Christ. You like, mentioned you mentioned Belmont, man. Like, yeah, that's what I want to lead to the college stuff, yeah, bro. And yeah. that's why he's in Nashville. You know that. that Brung him from Alabama to here. Yeah. First, first, before you even jump on that, is it roll tide? Oh, it's roll tide. Man, come on. Yeah, I'm bro. sorry, but it's so roll tide. Don't even hang. My, my dog, <laughs> That's what it's got to be. It's got to be that. Man, I'm, I'm not dog, saying that. Dog. I'm not going to be disrespectful, guys. <laughs> Save it, baby. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Saving, gang. Let's oh, go. God. You know what I mean? We just be clearly evolved. <laughs> One's just yeah. glad to have a friend over you here. You know what? You know what? A friend indeed. I'm going to let him have his oh, moment, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just saying. You know, it is it is roll yeah. tide. It is roll tide. <laughs> just yeah. saying. You know what I mean? I'm just what, saying. Yeah. You know, what, what, what They're about riding you, this way, what bro. About, what about you, Chad? I'm a Vandy fan. Vandy, bro. We you know, know that story. I fuck with Vandy. In football, like, though. I fuck with Vandy. Yeah. I can respect it only because they're like so trash. Like yeah. it's like yeah, it's, it's like, like no, it's true though. It's yeah. like it's like yeah, he's not football for sure. At, at, at least they're trying. Like he's yeah, like he's sure. like he's really bad. At it. least they're trying. No, oh. for sure. I'll always be a Vanderbilt fan there, and yeah. their basketball team finally is starting to turn around with Stackhouse there. Yeah, no, it's starting not to get back to. I mean, they you know they was in the NIT this year. They turned it around, but. Yeah. They just had a bunch of players leave and get in that portal. Yeah, I was excluding the basketball team. Right Go now. Vols, baby. Y'all know me. Basketball. I'm just over here, bro. I'm just here, man. Go hey, Vols. Hey, Vols are nice too, man. I, uh, I can't yeah, lie. we yeah the Bama, Bama, and the Vols just jacked it in uh in in, in, the in, tournament. The, in the tournament. Yeah, though. fuck. Yeah. I Show know, did, bro. Yep. Mm. I lost sight of the tournament this year. Shit. I didn't even fill out a bracket this year. Uh, uh, in the 16th they beat Purdue Dude, everybody's bracket you, you was fucked nobody, no, nobody picked them to win I was 90% up until like the final four F- Florida like, really? you picked that Purdue to lose yeah I did I did. they were like the only one I did predict to lose actually I think but that's the but thing I made, I made like three brackets so it was like one of them who, God, who yeah, predicted yeah. Florida Atlantic would be up in that thing that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, not who, that. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody lost. Who's the Who's in the final four? That's what I was gonna say. I don't even you know. know. I, I lost sight of it all. It's Florida, yeah. Florida Atlantic. Yeah. 
Uh, was it go to the Google Texas? thing. Yeah, bro. go to Google. I got you. It's Florida, Atlanta, San Diego State, UConn, mm-hmm. and uh, fucking I don't even know the other team. But I don't know any of Texas? them. Y'all are telling. Y'all are teaching me. It is me. Texas. Is right? it Texas? Yeah, it's Texas. Chad's been watching baseball. That's women. Fuck yeah, dog. Look, talk your shit, it's Chad. Texas. Bro. It's Texas. It's so, it's Texas. listen to Chad go on this 20, 20 years ago, when you came into this world, I had <laughs> fell out of love with watching baseball. And I watched it up in about until 2002 uh, or so. And I just too. stopped. I just kind of slowly just stopped watching it, and I just watched football and basketball more. I'm back into watching baseball because mm-hmm. they changed the rule where the pitchers, you know, don't take so long in between pitches. Oh, yeah. And now yeah. I'm like all the way back account. in it, bro, because I'm Chad a brave man. Me. He said, bro. I'm watching baseball this year. Dog, I'm saying, I'm I said, why, dog? And he said that right there. He's like, bro, there's no uh, rules, man. Dude. They're not going to take so fucking long. I'm like, dude, but watching baseball is brutal. And I played baseball my whole life. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, bro, watching baseball that's, is brutal. That's but Chad great. is that's a brutal. fucking advocate for MLB baseball right now. He wants us to tune in and pick a team early in the season mm. so we can talk mm. this shit with him. Mm. Chad, I'm with it. Yeah, I just got to get on the train quick. I got to fucking Is it pick because somebody. of Megan the Stallion's first pitch? Is that no, nah, bro, but I'll, I'll be <laughs> honest, Megan though. The Megan the Stallion's <laughs> first pitch was better than a lot of men's first pitches. Really? Yeah, yeah. Bro. She hurled it in there. Right? Was the hey, one, come on. Bro, she like, threw, you she know. It was trash, though. She it was threw trash. that to the dugout. She threw it. She threw it. Damn near. She, oh, she threw it. All right, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she threw it. I want to throw it. It was a beautiful sight to see, though. Oh, yeah. The best, worst pitch I've ever seen. I'm going to have to find this footage and just Put it right here so we don't. Just Fifty sound cents was so way bad. worse than that. Though. Fifty cents was horrible. Yeah, he threw it in like bad. a six row. Damn, and shit, bro. I'm that so was dead. Up 50. I'm so but yeah, dude. He's Atlanta Braves, too. dude. Yeah. Just just to say, like, I watched the Atlanta Braves game on Thursday. It was opening day or mm-hmm. whatever. The game was like two and a half hours, right? That's less time than an NFL game is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, baseball isn't longer. It just felt like that because it's slow, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's just slow. that uh, so many in between. It could be three up, three down, or it could be in a long ass inning. Or bro, you know, I, I dude, and it's funny try, watch, watching some of the games. I see people that are playing that are sons of players when we play. <laughs> like for example, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. I'm Give like, me one I, example. <clears throat> Give me Dante a Bichette, you remember him back in the yeah, Rockies days? Yeah. His, I guess, is his son Bo Bichette from Tr- uh, Toronto? I don't know. You I'm got assuming me, bro. so. Uh, There's some other ones, too. I gave Chad the floor of that MLB shit, bro, because yeah. I know he's tapped in right now. I got to get on this shit, though, bro. I really yeah. do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah we, 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 we went right down to uh, – Yeah, uh, shout out Belmont. Right it started yeah, yeah. with Belmont. We <laughs> yeah. said the word Belmont, and that yeah. led us into oh, yeah, fucking no. Alabama, Hell Roll Tide, and then to – Vanderbilt and then mm-hmm. to baseball. baseball. Dude, hashtag yeah. I like to riff, dude. Hell yeah. 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 Uh, riff. But the fucking Belmont. Why Belmont, man? Why from Alabama? You know what? It, was that a uh, specific opportunity you. you no, know, I, I, I was aiming for it. You know, my, okay. My, I, I, had a, I, I knew I wanted to do music. So I was like, is it going to be Berkeley? Is it going to be Belmont? You know, and that was mm. always the, the decision that I wanted to make. And then I, you know, every, I always knew it was going to be Belmont, though, just because, like, you know, it's closer. I can drive back home and shit. You know, it's just, mm-hmm. it's better. So, like, I was like, and honestly, I like being in the South mm-hmm. as compared okay. to, like, being in Massachusetts. I don't okay. know. I've been to Massachusetts and, like, I've seen Berkeley's campus. It's, like, literally in the middle of the city. Like, I don't know. I like, that's a, hard, I, though. I, you know, it's hard. hard I just want a little breather, though, you yeah, know. Yeah. So, like, makes yeah. sense. But, yeah, but, yeah, this city's, like, perfect. Big small, yeah. so. Oh man, and it's and it's the spot. It's the spot to be at with yeah, the music. Exactly, oh, especially the kind, the kind that you do and, and can yeah. do. You're mm-hmm. right in the, here in the thick of it. Sweet dog. spot right now, yeah. Yeah. So, yep. Belmont, man, I'm familiar with Belmont, right? So, so my my daughter's been in a program at Belmont since she was in the eighth grade or something like mm-hmm. that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so going, I'm familiar with the campus, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, dude. <laughs> so, are the parties? Dope, like I think they are. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's there's like house shows. You mean like yeah. like like the parties with the bands performing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we, What's we, that my, vibe? You like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me and my it's, band do that's those. That's different. It's, that's different than 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 than, than TSU and, and 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 even and even Vanderbilt is different. And Vanderbilt got a dope campus. You know what yeah, I'm saying? No. And they got some dope stuff going on. But yeah, dude, it has its ups and downs. You know, for me like, with Belmont. <laughs> yeah, the, the house shows are, are like are lit, and like when I when I got there like freshman year, I was like we went to the first one, and I was like, damn, like I really want to like perform at one of these. Like that was my goal, like from the oh get-go, for sure, just the energy, I'm sure. Yeah, it's just like so so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so like yeah, now 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 this year we are so shout out, but like um no the the house shows are like 
um, they're they're cool and mm. they're they're definitely a vibe. But now the state schools definitely get a little more turned. So I don't know, you know, yeah. you know, oh. you know. It's kind of like you want to party for four mm -hmm. years, or do you want to like grind for four years yeah, and yeah, like yeah. you know, kind of party and then you know, yeah, yeah, crazy. I, of like, course. For sure. What is that? Uh, so. so the band thing, you know, if yeah, you've yeah. only been in Nashville, you know, you said it. You said twenty twenty one. Right. Like yeah. Here, so you've been here roughly a year, year and a half. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I, yeah, I got here like freshman year. I'm a sophomore now. I was, gotcha. like, in my second semester. So, cool. Yeah. Um. But we we got together uh like last March. Okay. So got, that's kind yeah. of a new thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new thing. We yeah. We just I, I knew them like because like they were all just like friends of mine and I was like. I got accepted into the showcase and I didn't really ex expect to be accepted into the showcase because they only accept four people out of like the And whole. what is this, the showcase? So like the Belmont has like a showcase. They have four of them each year and it's like uh, in each genre. And so I applied for R&B and like a lot of people do and like they, they only accept four and I, I was a freshman so I just wasn't really expecting it, you know, because like this was tracks that I made in my room with like my friend and mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like, it, like, we, like you know, but like we just weren't expecting it and they, and I got in and I was like, holy shit, I got to get a band together. So I just texted my friends and we sounded pretty tight when we did it. And so yeah, up. we just stuck together. You know? And all your friends at the mm -hmm. time, were they currently local? Uh, so no, like none of them live here. Gotcha. We're all from like totally different areas. Gotcha. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, it's, wow. It's sick. But, um, yeah, but like we all, we are, are going to start staying here like over the summer and stuff. Yeah. Doing our own thing. Dope. Yeah. It, man, especially some spots, man. I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with like, like the, the main spots down there, like music roles and oh, all, yeah, all that, yeah, all that yeah, good yeah. stuff right mm -hmm. there man but mm -hmm. even even outside of that man the different little sub neighborhoods and sub communities oh, yeah. that, 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 that's Everywhere. coming up man there's more and more opportunities man. it's wild yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i got to record on music row for uh work it out for that song i all right. through like a through belmont so it's like uh belmont has like a a class for like some audio tech majors and they can like produce a demo for an artist sure and so they get access to go to ocean way okay or, or like columbia studios oh. mm. q hut any one of those three and like you can go record uh mm -hmm. in the studio and yeah, what was that like, experience cool. like for you you like it was, that it was super it was super cool because we got to like film it you know yeah. and like that make, was your first it, time in a big boy studio like that uh like big, yeah big and a, it getting getting to record them one yes gotcha. yeah yeah that makes so sense it was, it was super cool i'm sure it will not be your last time Jake. hopefully oh, not no it will I not be type of stuff, I, i'm almost willing to guarantee it will not be <laughs> it's not. probably just the first glimpse you got of that <laughs> you know what i mean yeah uh now, I think I think that's dope that you seize those types of opportunities, man. I mean, because oh, yeah. that I mean, for guys like us, you know, it, or even for like listeners and watchers that are unfamiliar with those type programs, like who would have? I didn't know these type things like even yeah. existed. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew I knew Bel Belmont was definitely an established location to get mm -hmm. uh, music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, pursue Belmont uh, plug exactly, it's man. To pursue it's the plug. pursue <laughs> what you're pursuing, but uh, as far as like the showcase program, I think that's interesting. It's, like yeah. stuff that they help try to propel you. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? It was, mm -hmm. it was nice. It 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 changed it changed everything for me. Honestly, just because like I I wouldn't have been able to get all the my bandmates together without it probably because what they needed was an excuse for a gig and we got one and so then it was like oh shit now and it's like the showcase you know wow so like we all just were like all right yeah all right yeah <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean yeah I think that's dope man so yeah no, and then you great. say and you say like they help you book some shit locally too like th there's a uh, program for this or is yeah, that something it's different? called it's called bear house management now it is different from the showcase though gotcha. it, this is just like a club that is run through belmont where you have to like send in an application to get in and they'll have to accept you but like and it's just like you send in like three songs and like bios but like and they're just trying to like you know filter out a little bit because you know some yeah. people you know it's the swamp but you right, know right, right. but like uh no it's a great program because you get to be paired up with like managers and people who are really just trying to help and like do it for free yeah so yeah and they'll, they'll go get you gigs they'll help run your oh, socials hard. it's like which literally. led to me mm -hmm. seeing him at vibrations mm -hmm. yes that's hard mm -hmm. that's hard okay yeah right yep couldn't have done it without any of those guys so uh yeah. i think that's shout all belmont, this, yeah, yeah for sure man shout out to belmont just shout out to like that whole you know i think it's dope like i said i, I can only mention it so much because i just don't know shit about it but i think it's dope on your behalf that you just seize those opportunities oh, yeah. that you take advantage of those type scenarios and even to audition for the showcase you know to your defense to audition for it as a freshman and sort of admittedly say that it was kind of you know didn't really think i'd get it blah 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 but i yeah, mean what well, yeah. you know and to submit for r&b which is a heavily fucking submitted category mm -hmm. and then walk away with it bro i mean you know 
luckily you submitted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, At least yeah. you didn't try to wait it out a year or, yeah. or to try like a, a less yeah. fucking submitted category. Yeah, and I wanted to, but my mom told me she was like, she shout was out like, mom. Like, she was like, Jake, shut the, <laughs> you, you better go <laughs> do yeah. right now. And Is that how she talks, dude? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Fuck I was like, yeah, I was I love like it. all right, I'll do it. And yeah. so I did. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, mom sound like a gangster. Yeah, yeah. no, she's, yeah. she's about it. She, yeah. she knows yeah. what she's talking about, for sure. That's, she knows. That's important, though, man. Yeah, no. You know, what I mean, you know, your parents are ultimately your heaviest influence. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As far as molding as to what we got sitting over there across the table sure. today. But uh, to be 20 years old, dude, and to have that type of influence your whole life, and then but to uh, whatever personalities they may possess to form the personality that we're seeing today. Yeah. You know, Jake's a cool kid, man. Like, he's he's sitting here vibing with us. And like, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's 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 interesting to see somebody that's twenty years old pursuing like an R and B career. If that's what you want to label yourself, I'm yeah, not no, trying to it's, categorize it's, you it's by not no a, means. It's, it's it's whatever you want to call it, man. It's like I I definitely think it's R and B influenced. There's some pop mm -hmm. in there. Um, yeah. In the future, there's going to be some more rock influence in there. Like there's there's some songs that I got mm -hmm. coming out that are trying to like rock. Like I feel like Waiting's got a little bit of rock, but it's it's more. It's more hip hoppy, trappy. Well, dude, fucking it, Chad. It sounds like funk. Chad referenced like to him as a rock. Yeah, I like some funk too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. When he first yeah. sat, came into, I don't know if it was on camera or not, but I can't remember. I think Chad literally said when they like introduced each other to yeah. each other, they. I think Chad said, "What's up, rock star?" Mm -hmm. I don't, <laughs> Chad don't say that kind of shit. That's often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially through first impressions, not to put you on front street, Chad, but I mean, yeah. I it's noticed it. Up. Like I just heard it. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. interesting. I mean, that's been my guy for fucking fifteen years. Yeah, no. Nah. So yeah. cool ass motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> it's one. Th it's one thing that people underestimate when it comes to this business, man. Like you got to have it. A lot of no, people absolutely. be talented. A lot of people, you know, have mm -hmm. drive but not that much talent. Some people have be talent, not that much drive. Right, but they right, focus right. on that type of stuff. But you gotta have it too. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you got right. per, you got person personality, man. Correct. Thanks, and shit Thank like you. that right there, Thank bro. You, yeah. Thank you, bro. I mean, even on top of the talent. On top of the talent, yeah. yeah. And Thanks, to, and to justify like a, uh, you know, like me giving you flowers a moment ago for season opportunities <laughs> and just you know that kind of shit. It almost it, it. I mean, this right here is almost a kind of a clarification of that same scenario. Like, mm -hmm. uh, not only from you know jumping on front of stage and getting your band together just to get out there, just to make sure you can make these moves and shit, and seizing the opportunities that people are kind of throwing at you right mm -hmm. now. But for me to reach out to you as a stranger, yeah. And yeah. I don't know if you were tapped into the show before then, or if you had seen any of us over or anything. Um, I, I, I so when I went to Vibrations, they were like mentioning podcasts and stuff, and then I believe oh, okay. you followed me, so I was like, all right, bet let me check them out. And so like, yeah, yeah, no, I like I was definitely checking y'all out. Oh, stuff. cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think it's dope, bro, for us to uh, set up today. Like, I mean, as easy as that kind of exchange was mm -hmm. for us, just verbally, for you to yeah. pull up here today and and to sit. With these guys, but yeah, yeah. there's nobody off camera today. You know, like Jake yeah. pulled up Dolo, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, he put one in the air with me when he pulls up. And that's, <laughs> and I'm like, damn, bro. Okay. Yeah, you know, that guy's yeah. party. That's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, I mean, it's just chilling. Yeah, yeah dude. I, I, <laughs> but, you know, back to the personality aspect. And and I think that, uh, you know, kudos to your parents, bro. Yeah, I, I don't, cool. we, as we don't get like an opportunity to really tap into them and their personality into this conversation, just yeah. only based off your what you're telling right, us. Right, right, right. Uh, I think that's what it comes back to, you know, to and, and your mom telling you, nah, Jake, fuck that. You know, you could do, go for that R&B shit or you better submit and all that, what you were saying. Like, uh, shout out to those folks, man, for 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 raising you the way you are right now, dog. Because it's been a for sure, for sure. it's been interesting yeah, to sit down with a, a young one like yourself <laughs> today. Uh, shit, I think you're the youngest guest we've had thus far. Oh, really? That Chad, is it? Is it? Mm, probably so. I mean, wow. shout out Pretty Shy. She came through a couple weeks ago. She's 23. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah Leroy's, Leroy's, that's Leroy's that's 23. Leroy's 23. Yeah. But, uh, but no, no, we, we haven't right. had anybody 20. No, yeah, twenty is a that's a new number for us, man. All right, um, <laughs> glad no. to be the first. Yeah, yeah. but uh, fuck, dude, that's a that's a trophy all on its own. But at the same time, like one said, with the overall talent that we're discussing right now, man, where where are you yeah. plan on going with this thing, man? Like, what's the, is it? Just sky's the limit? Is it, dude? Yes, like hell yeah, like man, Lucky like me. I just want to be like I want to just do it, you know, like just like totally go full force with it and like but like i don't want to be a sellout either like you know what i mean like i, I believe there's a line like mm -hmm. i don't know you know i just want to i want to go as far as i can go without having to like you know completely man, change who i am listen, man, and, yeah, and, and who you are is deep rooted right and your parents right. and all this stuff like mm. that 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 funk and all that right there man stay you right keep doing you exactly. you at the right age man like i say oh, with yeah. the it factor mm -hmm. know the chicks is you know what i'm saying yeah right 
Man, keep doing you. Yeah, yeah keep man. doing you. That's for the real, man. Y'all too, man. Did y'all ever, you ever have like aspirations for like um, I don't know, American Idols and that kind of shit? I I, I tried it one time, and it was when I was like junior year, probably mm, yeah, like first semester of it. And I was like, I went and I had my guitar and I was singing, and they just told me that was I needed to probably figure out more what I was trying to be. Yeah, and I and I now looking back at it, like hell yeah, I needed to. Like I, yeah. I was not yeah. about it back then, and it's only because I just didn't know like how I wanted to portray my my voice and mm-hmm. how I really wanted mm-hmm. to like do it. And I was I wasn't really singing like how I was like really wanting to feel. Yeah. And I don't think I tapped into that until I got to Belmont. Really. I don't know what, mm. why I really don't know what changed. It might've just been the energy for real. Like just everybody around me wanting to do You're growing up, bro. Yeah. You yeah. Grow, you're growing up too, dog. You're, that's what it you're, is. You're a grown man. And, and, and yeah. that's yeah. exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. Jack. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, shout, like, shout out, yeah. shout out yeah. to them for seeing that though. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, sure. That's, that's their job. Yeah, yeah. It was important for, I think that was a, probably the best thing you probably could have heard at that mm-hmm. time. Cause mm-hmm. if they thought it was too early, like as silly as it sounds, I watched that shit. Just the audition part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I literally, I'm sad because last week was the last week, the last, like, week of auditions, and then I stopped yeah. watching. Because after that, it's just all politics. But right. the, 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 like, true fucking, like, feedback that they give artists and stuff, man, it, it doesn't miss much. You know what I mean? No, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's good stuff. If you're on if you're on The Voice, I feel like it's, it's probably better. I agree. Better A off. million percent. Mm-hmm. That's a completely yeah. different yeah. conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I... I, I yeah. love that too, just for the blind aspect of it. Yeah. Like I, I love all that, but mm-hmm. uh, same scenario when it gets down to where they start like having battles and all this right. stupid shit. Yeah, like, I, I don't like right. that. I, I like the genuine mm-hmm. fucking discovery portion exactly. of it and that natural mm-hmm. initial feedback. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I feel you. I think that's yeah. like the most valuable moments, so to speak. But and yeah. I, just to the defense of them, like them saying what they said at that time. I don't know if you felt like that leaving that day. You probably didn't. But like you mm-hmm. said, looking back. Well, you know, like 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 looking back, I I when I say that, I really mean like like now I I really understand why. Like like yeah. when I when I got turned back at the time, I thought it was more like I'm just young, like yeah. like like I think I'm good, but like I mean, I'm just not like my voice isn't mature enough, so like whatever, yeah. like what the hell are you gonna do, right? And so like I, but like I, when I got like you know to to here, I was just like I just figured it out, you know. So I was just like yeah, like. I, I thank God I didn't get through because mm. now I'd be singing like that instead yeah, of like this, instead of, you know. Instead of like you really want, to, yeah, you, you, you know. And it's like I didn't even zone. know, you know. I didn't even know I wanted to sing like this. It was just like I, I, I just started like feeling something else when I was like mm-hmm. just doing, you know. I don't know. That's it's like let yeah. it out, hmm. man. Keep going, man. yeah, for sure. Like, do you, for you think you'll ever tap back into that? Or what do you it mean? just depends on what happens in the oh, meantime. Oh, like 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 shows. Any like that? type audition type shit. I dude, if I all I'm oh, saying, no. Jake, if I had your talent, bro, I would literally be on any fucking <laughs> thing I could get, my, get on. My mom my mom tried to tell me to do it. She's trying to like convince me to do like a talent agency and shit. I the thing is I just don't even know where to start. And honestly, I don't know if I even want to do like American Idol or the voice. I don't I don't necessarily classify myself as like a competition singer mm, like mm-hmm. I, like i mean if i'm going he- head to toe with like somebody who's really 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 about it like they i'm not like i'm not like like that type of different mm. i feel like i got like my style i got my songs i got like my music and it's like that's who i am you Hell know yeah. what i mean it's yeah. like yeah. i'm not really trying to compete with my voice per se but i definitely like am trying to like you know compete with you know top not totally people, understand but i'm not trying yeah. to like Beat they ass like you yeah. Know, so like, glad you said yeah. it like that though. Yeah. yeah, no, it's like yeah. That puts it in perspective a little bit better though. Like I, I'm glad yeah. you said it like that. But it definitely is great for um like just publicity and just getting out there. I Absolutely. feel like that's just what it really comes down to. Yeah, like yeah. Morgan Wallen didn't even get come close to winning. I don't think. But look no. at him now, right? He was pre- he made yeah. it like to the some of the later show. rounds. Yeah. It was on no, the Voice, sure. right? That was the Voice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh. Yeah, and he was doing I rock didn't even shit. Know, I didn't even know he was on The Voice. Right. Yeah, dude, you know he, what I mean? Yeah. Like, nobody did. And, like, yeah. now look at him. Like, he's number one. Yeah, he was so performing, like, like wow. rock songs and shit yeah. on The Voice. but And he made it far enough to where he was doing, like, the performance slots, like, yeah, like yeah, later yeah. in the show, but it, he did. Diff- it's he, wild. I don't. I don't know exactly how far he made it, but yeah, it's wild as hell to see. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't mean anything. Ultimately, it doesn't at all. Right? It's wild. Yeah. No, it doesn't at all. Uh, but I. Like I said, only reason I even asked the question though is just because, dude, I would be obsessively like yeah, tapped no, into I, all that shit. Yeah, I, 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 I just, I feel like the only reason I haven't is because I've been just so focused on like trying. Oh, you, to build yeah, you I clarified it right bro. now. Yeah. yeah, you clarified it for sure. I, yeah. I think it's dope to look at it from that perspective because right. my initial thought, like I said, like if I was as talented as you, I'd be doing this. <laughs> yeah, no, but no, to no, hear, yeah. but to hear like the way you say it, mm. it's like. Hmm. 
Yeah, I well, get that. Yeah, no, like yeah. It makes a lot more mm-hmm. sense. You know I, what I mean? I'm, I'm definitely looking to do that type of shit now, though, because now that that I feel more established with my my guys and stuff, like people are starting to understand like like who like we are, not even just me. And so like we're we're starting to get like gigs and stuff. And so it's like yeah. now as when summer comes, like I have to get a job, and so I'm like. I'm not trying to work like mm-hmm. some regular ass job right mm-hmm. now because uh, I don't even need to do that because I'm going to work a whole week to get paid 200 when mm-hmm. I could go play a gig for like three hours and get paid 200. Talk your right, shit. You right, know what I'm right. saying right. though? But yeah, like yeah. dead ass. So if I could just find a way to get gigs booked and like even try to do like a, a competition like that, get paid to go to fucking Los Angeles or something, you know, yeah. the fuck? Like yeah, why yeah. would you not? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's here. I it's, it's here, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you between middle of tennessee yeah you know what i'm saying between the yeah, tennessee period man but mm. but, but nashville man it's, it's here there. yeah it's I, there. It, for, uh, name of the band velvet row there's the rain yeah, yeah. uh velvet rope yeah uh, like i said i mentioned earlier that the kid be wearing these velvet jackets and shit uh-huh. yeah, you know, he caught yeah, that fly yeah, shit yeah. I, yeah yeah uh but yeah. the velvet rope that's uh-huh. dope R O R O P E. Uh no 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 so like or I, I, R-O-W? that see that's the only problem with it though is like and everybody thinks we're saying road or like rope but yeah, it is, it's it's R O W and oh like, and road. Road. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry like, yeah, no okay. no 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 it's all good it's all good yeah. like but like I, the only reason we we wanted to roll with that is because like we were like hmm velvet road and then we were like eh, eh, no I, I get it you know uh, it's like we we're like right. velvet road velvet road is the coolest of those. Three, I, that, that, that's what that's what definitely we just settled I, on I it, totally you know? agree with what Chad just said. Yeah. The yeah, next time somebody it. mispronounces it, so hey, not nah, hey. Oh no, it's cool. We grow, you know, motherfucker. They, yeah. One day, like one day, row. one day, yeah. it won't yeah. be. It won't be a question. One day, hopefully. So Hell I yeah! I'm not gonna worry about it right now. You, st- <laughs> you oh, stare, no, you could. stare them motherfuckers in the eyes and say, <laughs> "I like to riff." Yeah, I like yeah. to yeah. riff. That's what y'all call the episode. I like to riff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll riff. Guys. I don't know. <laughs> we'll riff for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I think though, you know, the more opportunities you get, Jake, man, the more opportunities you're gonna get. You know what I mean? Right, I right. think the more that that you and the Velvet Row are out there sure. doing y'all's thing, man. I think it could be just a regular old night, man, and someone could approach you and change your life, dude. That's mm-hmm. hey, we'll uh, see. Right? Because I, 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 like I, the only clip I saw was the one of recently where you're on stage with with the band. I think it was mm-hmm. one of your most recent posts on your okay. on your social media. Yeah. And uh, that was the first glimpse I got of you and the band, I think. Because yeah, uh, yeah. before, it was just like the stuff I had played earlier yeah. in the episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's a whole different element. Or element. Yeah. Element. El- thank you. <laughs> uh, of surprise, basically, when it comes to, you know, if they start with like that little solo shit where you're just serenading on the guitar right. doing your thing hey, and then they yeah. flip the switch and see you in a velvet fucking jacket with that's the velvet robe yeah, fucking doing your thing bro mm-hmm. like that that's where you turn up the fucking sauce a little bit mm-hmm. dog like it just gets it's a whole different discussion bro right i mean we just wanted we were like so when i got into the showcase i was like i need to fit od right now and i was like mom what what am i gonna do and she was like here i'll send you some like photos of some like just fits and then mm-hmm. i was like ooh velvet jacket yeah. could be crazy right now and i was yeah. like because i got black pants and a turtleneck that's black so like let me just throw on that you know yeah, whatever sauce man went yeah. with it and that was just that and so my bandmates were like fuck it yeah, let's, yeah. Let, 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 we're gonna be velvet something and we just came to row and then it, yeah so now we make velvet the gimmick you know yeah, hell yeah. yeah. i'm fucking yeah. loving it bro yeah. hey, that's hard man you know what uh i got some ideas man we're, we're talking about uh, we're, 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 brainstorm we're, 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 like brainstorm geniuses like this is what it happens uh so what's next bro because i know as of oh. recently just to, you know we're recording this on april 1st april yeah. fool's day wow i forgot about that oh, well. by the way i forgot to tell the world takashi 69 is the greatest rapper that ever graced a microphone <laughs> oh, what oh no <laughs> april oh, well. fool's day bitch yeah, so is. true so true Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> you know as of recently jake released a new single yeah, uh, yeah, waiting. That's not waiting, that's yeah. not false. That's true. That is true. That's <laughs> that a fun true. fact, that bro. True. And what's crazy is that the clip that I played earlier in the rec in this episode mm-hmm. is ultimately a clip of the record waiting. Right. You know. Yeah. Uh, but that that shows the sauce right there, bro. Because yeah. that portion of the song of that initial like video I had sent all mm-hmm. y'all. Right. 
in the actual record, it's the same portion, but it's completely different. Like yeah. you, you're, it's completely different. Mm-hmm. It, it's like, oh wait, I've heard that before. Right. Like you mm-hmm. got to catch that. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. dope, bro. Like I, yeah. I, we, I love the new record, man. It's dope. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we love to like just like make the performance a little bit different than mm-hmm. how those songs actually sound. Uh, and it's and you know for various reasons, but I like, mean whenever we take in a song that like we've been just performing and we're try to record it all together it doesn't usually turn out at like how your ears think it really sounds mm. you know what i mean gotcha. so it's like right. i don't know I, it's, it's it's just an interesting topic we we don't get to record that much so we've only got like one song right now and it's like in my phone but it's man, hard man, you, talk, <laughs> uh, I, we, you should let us hear it hey i can play yeah it's a it's a fu- it's like a funky typer more type song it's Weird. it's pretty fire man i mean yeah we just yeah we just all have just hang out and just Bullshit jam, come up with shit. <laughs> no, dude, man, I'm, I'm excited about your future, man. Like, <laughs> like, straight yeah, up, though, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I feel like, I feel, for real, you got a fan, you got a fan over here, but it feel like, <laughs> damn, like this motherfucker's cool. Like, no, yeah, dude, y'all are cool dude, too, dude, man. Dude's at least thirty. Uh, <laughs> I, I wish, yeah, no, I don't, I don't wish. 30, actually, 30, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's mind. just misleading, dude. It almost is. Like I said, when I yeah. taped, when I tapped into the kid, bro, I, I wasn't. It, when I saw that. And it just being involved the way we're involved here in Nashville, just just knowing who we know and just seeing the th- the amount of stuff I see that comes across my radar from like people submitting music to us or just being like, hey, check this out. Like we get a lot of that. <laughs> it was not that. Like me stumbling upon Jake Whipple was literally the most organic shit ever. I'm glad you did. Man. Right. I'm so glad. But yeah. when I did, bro, it was even better to me that it was like a there was nothing I, I couldn't date it like i i couldn't figure out how old the kid was he did <laughs> when i found him on his social like his like uh music catalog social media spotify or apple music mm-hmm. there's two fucking records bro and one of them was brand new you follow what i'm mm-hmm. saying it's mm-hmm. like hold up dude like this kid is just now really starting to make noise mm-hmm. but that just now. that escalated the conversation to where it wasn't like it, it's not about the current noise he's making Oh, it's yeah. about the noise I know you're going to make. Man, man. for real. And that's for what real. it's about for me. That's why I've been gatekeeping my shit. Like, I was in the showcase. Like I said, people started to know who I was, and I still gatekept my shit because I was like, no. Like, I'm, no. Because I just knew it wasn't where it needed to be, and I just stay patient. And now I've got songs in the in the vault right now that are very close to where they need to be, and they're mm. coming out very soon. And I've got an album planning for, like, June, July. Okay. Right up in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be Because, you know, I started a question yeah. one a minute ago, like, what's next for you? But I mentioned how recent waiting the single had, had really, in reality, was – but uh, I think it's interesting to tell to say that after I lost sight of the question to say that you got an album coming. Right, I think yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's dope, bro. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna I got It's gonna be terrible. I think somebody from Show and Prevent Entertainment will be reaching out to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Hey, I hope like that'd be fire. Like. Oh, dude, we can make that happen, man. I, I happen really? to know the guys. Yeah, Show for sure. Entertainment. Uh, that you, would don't, be, you don't know him, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, it'd be an interesting conversation. Uh, uh, I'm all I'm all the way with that. But yeah, yeah and that yeah. that those type of conversations don't ever happen. No. But it's just a true testament as to like why you're here bro mm-hmm. uh I, th- I think the story that you that you possess man as far as like you know the the heavy influences man from from like bruno mars and 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 prince and michael jackson and then and then your parents being such a huge part of like building to what we have yeah. sitting here with us man yeah. but then the type of music that you're out here making mm. is just uh that's a discussion all by itself yeah. man it's, and it's yeah. uh then we tell the world that you're 20 years old, <laughs> and that's just like wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all got some time to deal with this right here, man. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> gonna, have to, y'all gonna have to feel it for for the next however many years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm yeah. so glad though that it's at this point of your career, Jake. I yes. really am because we're. I mean, we're making noise out here as far as when we do this type yes, of shit, when we do our yes. podcast, and, and you know, Chad Arms TV has always been a blessing. But fucking dude, like I, I think it's so dope when we get these type opportunities to bring yeah, someone like too, yourself man. into this shit and just be like, hey guys, uh, look what we found over hey, here because too. this guy, yeah, it's my first time, man, uh, being on any type of shit like this, and this is fire. One, swing so. your chair over a little bit. No, the other way. Look, at that. <laughs> look behind you. Look, look. He brought his guitar. Just so oh, y'all, yeah, just, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just so y'all know, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. Uh, we have a show improved studio session lined up when uh, when we're done here. Before uh, we before we finish, yeah, I do yeah. I just want to say, um, for one, obviously you're super talented, but the thing that you have, so here's the thing: like what you have, the it factor. So mm-hmm. that stuff can never be taught. Mm-hmm. All the other stuff, people like us 
if we can't teach you or help you, we know somebody that can. Absolutely. But we have yeah. nobody. There's nobody out there that can teach you how to be it. You yeah, feel me? Exactly. And you already have that. Yeah. So Thank as long as you got Thank that, bro, and you've got Father Time is definitely on your side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like you. You in there? You just gotta keep Thank working, you, bro. You're definitely Thank right you. about that, man. Yeah, that, that, like that, it, oh, yeah, that it, would be a good topic. It's, it's, it, hey, it's in you, not on you. So yeah, <laughs> I a lot like of that. Don't get it. Uh, they've both said it. One said it earlier yeah. on in the episode. He 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 referenced the it factor. For you know what I mean? Yeah. And then for yeah. Chad to kind of double back up. Uh, much later in the episode, double I, back I, available now. Yeah, double back available now, <laughs> April seventh. Uh, yeah, right. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, at this point, now it's available now. At this point, yeah. when Jake's coming Charlie, out. Bitch. Now tap the fuck in. Send the link below. Yeah, we have to let you hear that when we're done. Word. Uh, but yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's dope. The it factor has came out of both these guys' mouth on two separate occasions mm. in this discussion. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we should name it that. What did we say we should name it? I just I said I like to riff. I like to riff. I like, I like to riff. riff. I like to riff. I like to riff. Yeah, yeah. You will. We're gonna figure that one out. One do. Uh, man, I'm excited about an album, man. I, I'm excited about that's anything I can really incorporate myself. Seeing you do, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Thank like you, I said, that's ultimately what made me so excited for you to pull up today, man. Because <laughs> I was excited to learn more about you, man, and to see uh, see where your head place is at. Just get to know you a little bit, man. And because I'm excited for uh, the world to get to know it too. Thanks, man. Yeah, it was nice getting to know all y'all too, man. Like this yeah. shit's fire. Y'all we, gotta go. We're gonna work, dog. We're gonna yeah, work. Show them sure. entertainment. Yeah, sure. gonna be contacting us. My very soon. We're gonna dude. have to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, they work weekends, so you yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. You drop yeah. that album, you need to call my fucker the Whipple Effect. <laughs> the Whipple Effect. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn. 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 The Damn. Whipple Effect. That is hard. That's going to have to be the next Chad's concept, cooking, though. That'll have to be the next. Damn it, next year's <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Hell yeah, dude. dude we got to make sure. Through. Yes, dude. We really do. We got uh, the, the latest single, Waiting, link below. For Tap sure. the fuck in. Yeah. Uh, Jake's social media. Uh, anything we could attach with the Velvet Row, we'll make sure is below. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Poet didn't know it. Yeah, Poet didn't know it. All right, all right. <laughs> That's born like this, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, we're excited for anything you got coming, dog. Yeah, but, uh, too, uh, Along your journey, Jake, just know. <laughs> if you ever got some shit to say, bro, that chair is yours, man. Thanks, bro. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can yeah, always yeah. pull up, smoke one with me. Hell you know yeah. I mean? Hell yeah. Uh, but we'd... we'd Hopefully we work together more. Yes, for yeah. sure. Uh, we'll be in touch. Sure. For you sure. got anything Please. before we get out of here, man? Um, I guess uh, I got a new song coming out. Oh yeah, towards, when? Talk, it's going to be talk. towards the end of uh, April, maybe okay. maybe beginning of May. It just depends on how all the like promotion stuff just adds up. And stuff. Gotcha. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're shooting for that type of time. It's going to be called Running Away. So, okay, yeah, Running Away. Sure. Right. Coming super soon. excited, that's bro. Dope. Super so excited. So that's uh, anyway. yeah. Yeah, that's definitely that's something to look forward to. Uh, I don't know when exactly this is dropping, so when this drops, we'll do. Yeah, the me calendar. neither. Sadly, <laughs> yeah, but we'll we'll do the calendar work like as soon as we're done here. Like yeah, we'll yeah, get yeah. a we'll get a general idea because hopefully by the time this does drop, there's like a pre order or something available. If there's yeah, not, yeah, as soon as there is, be. yeah, we'll add it. Yeah, in yeah we'll we'll figure down. it all out yeah. to make sure that they steer towards this. And if not, just keep an eye on any of our social medias because I, I promise you, I'll share the shit the day it drops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, real one for sure. Just because uh, we're excited to see where you're headed, man. And, and anything, too, man. anything new you got coming, man. Make sure, uh, make sure we tap in, bro, because we, <laughs> we sure. want to be aware. For sure. But uh, yeah, round back, bro. Anytime you got some shit to say, dog, pull back up. We'll do the same shit again. You got some shit to talk about or uh, new singles that we need to promote. We're, we're here to yeah, make yeah, it happen. Y'all just, y'all just let me know. I'll let y'all know too. Man. Uh, Jake yeah. Whipple, ladies and gentlemen, y'all tap the fuck in. All of his contact information is below. Chad Arms TV back in the corner cooking up oh. them things. I'm a dexterous mm. style. <laughs> 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 oh, and he's still looking for Mildred uh, for sure. applications. Oh, for yeah. sure. Uh, available at chatarmstv.com. Uh, bring your shit. Bring Mildred. your shit. Bring your bag. <laughs> Not sh- yeah. Yeah. bring your shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his eyes never move. I'm squint. I'm squint six one five. It's I got some shit to say. dot com. Chad arms tv. dot com. Yeah. Chatty, get us the fuck out of here. Jake, thanks for weird. The return yeah. available now. Yeah. EP, go the get return. It. Go get that. Yeah. Double back available now. Bow, bitch. Bow, 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 bitch. We got beers. <laughs>